Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Sometime in the 1850s, a man named Jack Daniel needed a job. He started working at a whiskey distillery owned by Dan Call. Jack was impressed by the quality of whiskey that was being produced. One day, Dan introduced him to the man who was behind the alcohol's smooth taste. This here is Nearest. He's the best whiskey maker I know. But Nearest wasn't Dan's employee. It was Tennessee in the late 1800s, and Dan enslaved Nearest Green. Jack learned everything he needed to learn about whiskey from Nearest. Nearest showed him how to pass whiskey through maple charcoal, which removed the impurities and left a bit of sweetness. Historians believe that this process originated from Africa, where Africans have been filtering their water using charcoal for many generations. Much of early America's whiskey is owed to the skills and labor of enslaved Africans. George Washington owned the largest whiskey distillery on the East Coast and relied on six enslaved men to run it. In the same way that white cookbook authors often appropriated recipes from their black cooks, white distillery owners took the credit for their whiskey. Sometime after the Emancipation Proclamation, Nearest, quote unquote, won his freedom. In 1866, Jack opened his own whiskey distillery and requested that Nearest join him. Nearest became his master distiller. Eventually, Jack opened up the historic Jack Daniel Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee, which is now a tourist destination. Nearest have retired by then, but his sons and grandsons continued to work at the Jack Daniel Distillery. According to Jack Daniel Archives, there's always been a nearest green descendant working in some capacity at the Jack Daniel Distillery. While there isn't much recorded about nearest green, the Jack Daniel Company acknowledges his contribution to the world famous whiskey brand. Historians believe that Nearest is just one of many enslaved Africans who created and cultivated the famous taste of American whiskey. Unfortunately, many of these stories will never be told, but thankfully we can acknowledge the ingenuity of Mr. Nearest Green. Despite being an enslaved man, it's beyond belief that he was the architect of creating one of the most iconic American brands today. Now that you know the name and story, make sure to share this information next time you or someone you know has a Jack Daniels drink. Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.